So, this is how you make a drop shot rig for bass fishing. So, you're going to take your size 5 eagle claw hook. going to tie that on. We're going to make sure we have access left. Have about a foot left of access. Tie that on there. Don't clip off the access. Make sure that's tied on there good. Make sure that's on there good. Then with the access, what we're going to do is we're going to put a sinker on there. Going to put a put a sinker on there. Tie that on good. So it doesn't get hung up in the weeds. Throw that on there just like that. Tie that on. Make a few good knots so it stays on. Then you're going to cut off this access. Pull that, make sure it doesn't come off. And then I recommend you use these kind of worms. These ones, but you can use these these other kinds. And then all you gotta do is hook your worm right in the middle, like this. Don't know if you guys can see, but just like this, like that. And then, so when you cast it out, this is gonna be sitting down. And then this is just going to be floating up here, and then the weight will be sitting down there, and the worm will be floating that far off the bottom. This will be hitting the bottom. Then the bass will come up and get it, and then you'll get them. What's that called, Elijah? Drop shot rig. Yeah, and you've used that before? You catch a lot of bass with that? Mm-hmm. Nice. So, again, like I said, this is optional. You can use this kind, these kinds, um... You can use you can use these ones even too. Just pinch off the tail sometimes, or you can just use them like this. What's your favorite one to use for a drop shot? Uh, I recommend using using these ones with with the with the outputs on here, like on like these the ones where they have little things oh, on there. Oh, nice! And they make different colors of these ones: purple brown, the red. Uh, I recommend using the green ones. They make green ones also. They make basically any color you can think of uh, of these threaded ones. I recommend I recommend uh, using the uh, if I was going to go with this, I recommend you to use the the ones the green ones and then I like the, chartreuse. Yeah. And, and then and then with these ones, you would just hook them right in the front, just like that, right down, on like, there like that. Nice. And then you'll be sitting there like that. Show with, us your final rig up with, one more time. With your weight up on the bottom. And then this one, you can have it sitting up like this. And then if you don't want to use that one, like I said, you can use that This is that Elijah one. John's drop shot method for bass. And We're then, about to test it out here and we'll let y'all know how we do. Then you can use it like that. Like use use a regular worm. There's no threads on that one. There'll be a you can feel you'll feel a little bumpy spot and then you'll feel a smooth spot. Then you hook that one up. You'll be sitting like that. And then then last, you're ready to rock. And then last but not least if you're going to use these squiddish ones, you're going to want to hook it right on the top. Like that, and then you'll be sitting like this. Alrighty. If you're, you're fishing in the bay or something, this, thing, this will be moving around in the waves like this. So then they'll see these things 
uh, moving around. And actually, I lied. There's there's this last one that you hook up. This one I recommend hooking this one again to in the middle. All right, dude. We ready like to go this. fishing or what? Yeah. Then this one will be sitting again in the bay. This tail will be moving around. And then get their attention. They come, bite it, and you set the hook. Alrighty, thank you. What was your name again? Elijah. And what are you doing today? Bass fishing. Alrighty, thank you. Bye. Bye.